Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 46 of Ocean Block. All right. Um, today we're going to try and uh, get our uh, nitro seeds. And look at that, 48. What? <laughs> I thought that only made one each time, and it makes 16? Uh, I've been uh, sitting here waiting for these to take uh, forever to make on the little setup that I have. This kind of went AFK um, doing stuff. This one isn't even ready yet. That's okay, because we don't really need it, um, because this made 16 each time. I also made a Wyvern Fusion Crafting Injector. Uh, it's my very first one. Um, I just took one of them off and was able to upgrade it. Uh, so now I need to pull each one off and upgrade it. Uh, but <laughs> it's going to take me a while because that it takes like 37 draconium per for each one and uh so yeah i guess i do have enough to where i could make uh the nine more Whew. okay i was worried that i wasn't gonna have enough to upgrade them all but uh oh boy i need to get more draconium um I added in uh, the end stone that I'm producing uh, goes into the pulverizer and gets crushed. I'll add it here, uh, and then it comes over here and gets smelted. Uh, oh, not smelted! It gets sluiced, and then this, the results go into the system, and then comes over here. And then I'm taking the deconium dust uh, and processing it, um, smelting it here, um, and then storing it over here. Uh, so, <laughs> um, I think it's just easier to forget the sluice and just make more uh, draconium plants or get our power pot going uh, with some draconium in it that would be nice <clears throat> like for sure so wow okay so I guess we need some insanium so I need to grab our master fusion crystal. Borrow it. I guess I could make another one. Oh, good. We got 33. Because <clears throat> I need um, five, I think. Wow. I chewed it up. Chewed it up. There we go. I need one for dirt, the farmland, because this one, um, like the nether star seeds, you could put on supremium farmland, but the nitro seeds has to be on insanium farmland. And I don't have any of that. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so we need a piece of dirt and a hoe. farmland. Oh my gosh. I 
also need a seed. Alright, I did not know that that made so many. Oh my goodness, I could have been done a long time ago. Oh my goodness, this is so expensive. But I think it will speed up the rate at which we get nitro uh, significantly. Oh! Now, what am I going to take off? Cause, oh wait, I think I got an empty one. There's an empty one. How do I get the dirt out? There we go. Shift right click. Boop and a boop. Cool. And I, I need to get my little configurator out. Fix this. I had to turn it all off because uh, they default just plain connected and stuff would go in there. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't I want stuff to come out. It has to come out. Alright. Oh look, I got another empty one right here. Yeah, I need more stuff. I need more stuff. That's a way better deal than I imagined. I imagined uh, each one having a nether star. How's this going? 90%. Nice. Um, Alright, so let's see what rewards we got so far for our nitro crystal seeds. A niotic crystal seed. Yeah, that would have been great before I made it myself there that last time. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. Got it. And then there was the Draconic Evolution quest that I had to make a Wyvern core in order to make the Wyvern uh, crafting injector. An Imperium Furnace, woo! And an Imperium Furnace, whoa! And and this Draconic Core. We do have awakened Draconian ingots, but. I don't think I'm ready for that yet because you have to have a wyvern tier to make it. Okay, so I will continue upgrading those. Uh, actually, it didn't take too long if I could get all the stuff. Let's put this away. See, I got 32 Awakened Draconian Ingots last time, which is awesome. Uh, do I want to do that or work on some more quests? We could do uh, some more Misk. We got a few in here that we could still do, like all these uh, fortunes. Torches, torches, and uh, lamps and lanterns, and then this tesseract and an HD conveyor. 
And we also have the power pots, but that's going to come with uh, draconic evolution as we progress through that. So we won't be able to get that until we get chaotic. So. Um, let's see, what is the entity conveyor take? The slime balls. Uh -huh. I don't. I wish I could craft from there. That would be nice. Woohoo! Chicken seeds. <laughs> now, now you give me the chicken seeds after I already made them myself. That's whack. Okay, that one was super easy. Uh, yeah, that's that's the only four left other than this, so I guess we can go ahead and knock them out. Oh, we're gonna knock you out. That looks pretty easy. set up for in the sluice uh, machine. Okay, so let's knock these three out and then we'll figure out the tesseract. So what are you? Feral flare lantern. Places invisible lights. Ooh, that looks nice. Um, that's pretty cheap. I wonder the radius doesn't say. Does it say in here? Places invisible lights in a radius around the lamp. But it doesn't say the radius. <laughs> that's what I want to know. Um, okay. A dread lamp prevents natural spawning of passive animals like squids, bats, or ocelots in a big radius around the lamp. Big radius. What is it? A uh, glowstone block. And what is that? Oh, I need a black dye. Done. The dread lamp. And I know the mega torch. Uh, I know what that does. I know what that does. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what we got. A yellow laser lens. A prudentium furnace. And a stone matic. Oh boy. Okay. I think I have one of those up here. No. Okay. I want to try the Aero Flare Lantern. It looks cool. I wonder if I can hang it from the ceiling or put it on the wall. Can I put it on the wall? I can't. It's just floating there though. It looks nice because I, I was wondering how to do the, uh, the lighting. I wanted to take the torches out. Uh, so I wonder, do 
do I even need those now? Do I get these back when I break it? What? Do not get it back. Oh, that's horrible. I gotta see though, F7. There's some darkness, but that's pretty close. This is lighting up this area over here. Can't believe I'm wasting all this glowstone. Just lit this area up. I wonder. Boop. Is that gonna light the whole area up? That would be nice. Just lit that up. I wonder if I can take this off. And that. Oh, that's nice. Just lit this whole area up. I'll have to go back here and take my torches off and see if it gets... I can't get back there! To see how well it lights everything up. Ugh! Oh, lag! Monster! Didn't know you were there. Oh look, my other thing is done. Do I got a light? Yeah, I got a light back here. And yep, all up here. Why can't I get if it lights this whole area up. like it's going to reach everywhere except for possibly back here. Look, I got one red up here. One red over there. It wasn't that expensive to make. So if it doesn't reach that back corner, it's not a big deal. Let's just make a few of them. We'll put another one right there. Right there. Uh-oh. This could be why it was taking so long to I have the basic uh, ender gate on that. <laughs> um, oopsie. It's okay. I was just mostly AFK. AFK while I was doing that. Oh look! My, I forgot all about my four meg storage part. Oh, that's awesome. 
what a good thing to find. And make another. Sweet. We're getting up there. We still only have about. We got tons of room. Tons and tons of room. I'd like to get a, a 16 meg because that's the highest um, and then I don't have to worry about upgrading it and I'll, I don't have to worry about taking things off of it anymore. Of course a lot of my stuff, even the diamonds, are now in their own storage so uh, I'm not going to be as inconvenienced as I was before because I, I have the essentials being stored uh, externally. If that makes sense. With the external storage doohickey. Nice. Oh, we still have to do the test rack. Um, this is high temperature a fluid cell frame and a redstone flux cell frame and a thousand millibuckets of molten ender. Oh, um, I can do that, but let us turn this off. Real quick. Um, let that kind of clear up. That way I can get a bucket of ender. This will eventually. Okay, I uh, got the bucket of resonant ender, and while I was waiting for that, I made the cell frames that we needed for this. Now we just gotta go into the sluices. Oh, that's the wrong one. And where was it? Oh, it was like up here. Oh, lag. Mid jump lag. Um, I think it said high temperature. High temperature. High temperature. Oh, I have to put the bucket in. Alright, sorry about that. I had to stop recording abruptly. Uh, but we just need to put this resonant ender in this jar so that it can see it. It's now in the system. And then I can put the fluid cells over there. fluid cell and the uh, flux cell frame. This is high temperature. Glass jar. I'm not seeing the recipe. This is resonant ender. How do you make molten ender? I bet. I bet it's in 
to smell pretty. Let's see. Just takes a couple of inner pearls to see. While I was uh, waiting, I couldn't record, so I started doing other things. <laughs> Getting together stuff for the Whippered Injectors. Oh. Let's go up here. Let's see if we can get... Uh... I don't even have... I don't have what I need. I don't have a table or anything in here. Um... Let's check it out though. It does melt. Molten Ender. Okay, that's definitely what we need. There we go. Um, now I wonder if I break this wool. Empty? No. Oh yeah, I can just exit it out like that. So I can do that. It empties into there. And then I get my molten ender. Put it in there. There it is, there it is, Tesseract. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. I thought it, Molten Ender is Molten Ender. And a Tesseract. Yes. Awesome. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, so let's see what did we do? Uh, oh, while I was waiting, I had to make a crusher because I was wanting to oh make the uh, many utilities. I was wanting to make the netherite reinforced drum. But you need ancient debris for that, and I don't have that. I have netherite, and I have scrap. Uh, so if you look at the recipe, you can get it from uh, pulsating crates or mining it with the laser drill, which could be. We could set one of those up to actually get items. But if you take netherite dust and basalt in a combiner, you can get ancient debris. Well, to get netherite dust, you need a crusher. You can't do it in a pulverizer. You have to do it in a crusher. What? Oh, or you can do the metallurgic infuser, which I didn't see that. Uh, but, um, Anyway, I made the crusher. <laughs> I made the crusher. Uh, and that's only part of it. Ooh, another apprentice blood orb. I wonder if those stack. No. Awesome. Uh, and I did add the crusher over here, which I took a couple of machines out and they had upgrades in them. My netherite dust is done, but now I need another machine in order to uh, combine them. I need the combiner, which I already got the crusher, so I'm going to take that out and take the test rack out. So we have to have a combiner for mechanism.
and this is what it takes. So I have steel casing, uh, but I happen to make these. I think I'm going to teach it how to make these things um, because it is painful. <laughs> it is painful. It hurts us. So what other quest did I do? Oh, that was the test wrap. Approved in the Paxel. I always wanted. Oh, we didn't go in. Sweet. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a rabbit hole. I didn't know I was going down. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, let's see, we got some room still in our netherite crafter here. I might need to, uh, I, I did put speed upgrades in there, so hopefully it goes a little bit faster when I'm uh, asking for a 4k storage part. Um, so, but the thing is, it takes, like, the basic control circuit. It's a metallurgy confuser thing, uh, which is osmium and redstone, which I just made a whole bunch, so I have 79 of those. Um, oh, that's an advanced control circuit. That's nice. Yeah, I need, I need two of those. <laughs> and the reinforced ally, alloy. I don't know why I keep saying ally. It's weird. Um, that's another thing. So I need to put some iron and redstone in there to get a bunch of those. Uh, let's look it up. Yeah, because I only have four. Don't think that's going to get me very far. So let's just grab a whole stack. Um, let's see. Okay, so it only takes one redstone. That's good to know. So I can just throw those in there. Also, the nitro seeds that we planted. Oh my god. Let's go look. They aren't growing. I mean, they are growing, but I can't harvest them. Look, they just stay like this. Uh, fully grown. Um, and they don't auto-harvest, so I'm like... This is a hopper botany pot. It's on the insanium. Uh, the only way I can do anything with it is if I shift right click with an empty hand and it plucks the seed. <laughs> but when I replant it, it doesn't harvest it. So I think uh, I remember uh, from before when I played one time to do the nether stars, you had to have a nether star crux. So, uh, 
I was looking at mystical agri agriculture and there's a nitro crystal crux which takes four more insanium and some doodads. So I, I guess I need to make this. But it didn't say anything about it having to have something underneath it. And the, the nether star one is working. Uh, I don't have to have anything under those. So I don't So I'm going to try and figure that out, uh, I think, I'm not sure I have enough uh, Supremium built up, that's another 16, let's check. Just barely, just barely have enough. am I going to use it for? Whoa. Alright. Let's do the thing. There we go. Oh, I love the color of that. It's very vibrant. Like the, the draconian block looks cool. So, um, what was, yeah, this doodad. Uh, so, I have all the bits except for a nitro capacitor, two of them. Uh, which takes a large capacitor. That's what I'm missing. So I need two. Oh, ran out of juice. There we go. That should be able to make us two nitro capacitors. Nitro Crystal Crux. I hope I didn't just waste that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Does it need to be under it or next to it? If it's under it, then I can't pull anything out of it. What if I put it, like, right here? anything. What if I put it under? Mommy, <laughs> why won't you work? Oh, there it went. There it went. Okay, so putting it down there works. Awesome! I'm so glad it worked. <laughs> so, we have uh, netherite, no, uh, nether stars, um, and now we're getting the essence of nitro. Where are you? I need to put you. I need to put you in your place. <laughs> so I need to add a new recipe. Oh, this is gonna take. Uh, 
is a star. I know if I put the nether star in there, it'll just move them all. I want all of them in there. I don't want them all in there. Oh. This way. If you do it the other way, it gives you 16. It takes a long, long time. I guess I can just come and put uh, manually put in some nether stars, however many I want. So we figured that out. That's good. Um, we have nitro essence coming in um, and a way to process it. So we're moving on up. I'm going to get the, the wyvern injectors done. They go by pretty quickly, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.